I wonder how many people noticed this art in Pirates of the Caribbean. And I don't just mean the Mark Davis portrait that's hanging up behind the pirates that shows Pirate Red living it up in her retirement. There's actually quite a bit of famous art that the Imagineers have used in attractions. Now, some of the most obvious is used in Toad Hall for Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, like the Lady Justice statue that you see in the town square. And of course, at the end of the ride, you see Mr. Toad dressed as Boy Blue, which is a famous painting by Thomas Gainsborough. Hopping over to Toad Hall in Paris, we find a few other paintings, like this one by Ferdinand Robet. This portrait also changes into the self-portrait by Van Gogh, and my favorite is Mr. Toad as the Mona Lisa. But the Mona Lisa can also be found in a different Disney attraction. You can find it defaced inside the Pinocchio ride in both Disneyland Paris and in Disneyland in California. But there's another famous painting that is in Pirates of the Caribbean, and I don't mean the ones that the pirates are actively stealing. If you look closely during this chase scene, you'll see a small painting inside the doorway. This is a replica of an actual painting from the 1600s by Dutch artist Gerard Porch, and it's called The Loot Player. 